With LabVIEW 2015, actors got built-in debugging functionality. As you can see here, there are conditional disable structures. These are activated by going to your project, right-clicking on the top line and choosing properties. There you will find a page for conditional disable symbols, add AF debug trace and set it to true. The value is treated like a string and is case sensitive. To actually use this, you have to install the Desktop Execution Trace Toolkit. Once you've done that, you have some extra functionality added to LabVIEW. In the block diagram palette, you now have a function for generating your own events. Going back to the project window, if you right click on My Computer, you now have the option Trace Execution. Then you can trace these events by checking User Defined Trace Events, press Start and run your project. By adding a debug alias for each actor, you can set a custom name for the actor in the debug trace. Note that if you're using LabVIEW 2015, there may be a bug. In the VI time delayed send message, the word true here is not properly capitalized. And remember that this is just the built-in debugging support. There are many more debugging tools available from the LabVIEW forums.